Hey everyone, the game piece here, and welcome to another competitive analysis video in the series that I'm doing where I'm going to be taking a close look at the Temtems available in the game right now and give you an analysis of what moves to use, what TV builds to use, and just an overall in depth look at the Temtem. So today we're going to be taking a close look at Mudrid, so let's get into it, everyone. Mudrid is an earth and crystal type Temtem that can be found on the island of Tukma in the mines there with a 5% spawn rate, or you have the option of evolving your bundle bun into a Mudrid by leveling it up 20 levels from when you caught it or hatched it. Mudrid is going to have a good time dealing with electric, mental, fire, and crystal types, but it's going to have a hard time going up against nature types, water types, earth types, and melee types. Mudrid has the option of taking one of two different traits, the first one being resistant, which when receiving a negative status condition, it will decrease the amount of turns that it's affected by by one, and receptive, which will, when getting a favorable status condition increase its turns by one. So I would say resistant is probably the more beneficial trait here. If you're going to be getting a sleep instead of getting a sleep for two turns, you're going to be only getting a sleep for one. Same goes for like freeze or poison or whatever. That's going to be absolutely more beneficial in the long run, I feel, especially because the status conditions that are favorable in this game right now aren't super beneficial. There's heals, there is the stamina reduction, which actually is probably one of the most beneficial ones if you're going to be using with Mudrid because of its lower stamina base, so that is an option for you. However, I do think that Resistant is the trait to go for here. Now, on our tier list, I'm going to be placing Mudrid on the B tier. I'm going to be getting into the reasonings for this a little bit more in depth, but overall, I will say that Mudrid does have very good speed, very good special attack, and a very decent attack stat as well, but its defenses make it pretty frail. It's going to have a hard time taking any sort of physical melee attack, which are kind of prevalent right now in the meta, and also so its special defense is going to not take any attacks for it on the special side of things either, which means Ukama is going to have a pretty good time taking Mudrid out, so that's something to be aware of too. Now Mudrid does have some good moves to take advantage of its stats. You have Stone Ball, a 130 base power move, but with the stab boost with Mudrid, it'll boost it up to 195 base power, and with the synergy with a fire type, it will burn the opponent for two turns. It also has access to Crystal Bite through Breeding, which is a 100 30 power damaging move as well with one hold. Mudrid does suffer unfortunately from not being able to receive one breeding move that it has access to which is Dust Vortex which is a 131 base power special attacking move. Unfortunately there's no Temtem that Mudrid can breed with at this point in time to get Dust Vortex but it's believed that that is going to be added to the future so that is an option for you in the future if you want to build a special attacking Mudrid that is going to absolutely be an option for you in the future. However, right now, it's kind of tough to advise that without the Dust Vortex move. So I say that the physical attacking Mudrid is more worth it for you right now in early access. So, what Temtem should you be pairing up with Mudrid? Well, I really like pairing Mudrid up with Barnchi. Barnchi is able to bamboozle and protect Mudrid while it is able to sweep and basically get off free attacks. It also is able to take advantage of turbo choreography if you give uh, Mudrid that move to be able to get the plus two speed boost with Barnchi on the field. Barnchi also does have mental attacks to be able to cover weaknesses that Mudrid has, such as the melee type, and also it's just an overall good Temtem to pair and have on the field as a support Temtem overall. Now, the other Temtem that I think that you should use Mudrid with is Gazuma. Gazuma also has that wind typing, allowing you to use turbo choreography to boost the speed of both your Mudrid and your Gazuma by two, which is going to be very helpful if you're going to want to go all out on the offense. Gazuma also has that electric typing to be able to handle any various water type threats. It's going to be pretty effective for you, I think, to have a very solid, fast, heavy hitting electric type on your team. Alright, so now I'm going to go over a couple of movesets that I've come up with for Mudrid for you to use. So the first one is going to be a physical sweeper here slash support. So we have 500 TVs invested in attack and then 500 TVs invested in speed. Mudrid is going to have the resistant trait to decrease the negative status conditions and Stone Ball, Crystal Bite, Turbo Choreography, and Tenderness. Stone Ball, of course, to get the physical earth type move and the synergy with any fire types that you might have. Crystal Bite to take advantage of the stab and also another super strong physical move. Turbo Choreography, like I stated, to be used with uh, partnered Temtem 
Tem, such as Gazuma or Barnshi, to boost the overall speed of Mudred, as well as the partner Temtem that you're using. And then Tenderness also is a pretty good supporting move if you want to lower the attack, and maybe if you have a wall that is maybe defensive based, you can kind of wall off the opponent and force them to switch out, or something like that if you want to lower their stats. And keep in mind, stat boosts do persist throughout the entire battle. Sweatband is also the item on Mudred here because it has pretty low stamina overall. Having that regen that will give you stamina back every turn is going to be pretty beneficial, especially if you're using Turbo Choreography. Now, the second set that I have for you here is kind of hypothetical, but so on this set, we have 500 TVs invested in Special Attack and then 500 invested in Speed. Dust Vortex on here, which is the move that I said you can't get currently, but you will hopefully, fingers crossed, be able to get soon in the future through Breeding. So I have, again, the Resistant trait on here and Dust Vortex and as well as Crystal Dust, another special attacking, a little bit weaker crystal type move. Mud Shower is on there for the turn one. Special attack, earth type move, and then of course we have Turbo Choreography again if you want to boost your partners. And then Sweatband to offset that lower stamina base on Mudred. So this is a pretty solid set that's going to be for you to use in the future. However, you could play around with the variation of this now if you wanted to have just Crystal Dust and Mud Shower, but really once it gets that Dust Vortex is when it's really going to come into play. Now, what are some of the Temtem that you need to be looking out for and plan for threat-wise? I definitely think you need to be looking out for some of the heavy hitters in the game right now. Gialis, of course, one of the heavy hitting crystal and melee type Temtems. Melee type moves are going to do devastating damage to Mudred, especially with that low base defense. So that's something to plan around with, definitely have a counter. However, Mudred also does have the earth type moves to take advantage of knocking out Gialis. So provided you have enough speed or you've used Turbo Choreography, you do have a way of dealing with that threat in your Mudred, but it's important to keep in mind. Now, other threats that you're going to want to keep an uh, eye out for are Psypat, which is seeing a super high increase in usage lately, and for good reason. Psypat has super strong water and melee type moves in the form of an exclusive melee type move, one of the strongest in the entire game. The other threat that you're going to have to look out for that's very popular right now is Ukama, and this is a very fast special attacking water type which will do devastating damage, so you're going to have to watch out for that as well, but that's another reason for you to bring along uh, Gazuma to counter any sort of water type attacks. So those are really the main threats that you're going to have to keep an eye out for. Otherwise, just keep an eye out for any attacks that it's taking super effective damage from. So overall, I really do like Mudred as a Temtem. It has some very solid options as a physical support type attacker right now. It can also sweep provided it has enough speed given on to it. I do think it's going to excel a little bit more once it gets access to Dust Vortex. We don't really have any special attacking Earth types in the game that can take advantage of it right now. So once it does get Dust Vortex, I think it's going to be a lot more popular, provided that the Temtem that gives it Dust Vortex isn't going to outclass it in every way, which, I mean, might happen. So you do have a couple options for you to really try out with Mudgeard right now, but for right now, I do think the physical option is a bit better for you in odds of success. So if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Temtem content and more guides like this and more Temtem stuff in general in the future. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. And I really hope you guys have a great day.